In this video we're going to be looking at the basics of editing in a Panopto video. So as you can see I'm already on the uh, Plymouth Panopto cloud so the address for that is plymouth.cloud.panopto.eu I've logged in as myself or in this case the uh, ASTI admin account and I've used the browse function to type in my module code and find the course that contains the uh, video I want to edit in. So I've loaded into that folder and I'm presented with all the video content in that folder and the video I want to um, edit is this 23rd of March 2020 uh, 5 pass or 5 to 12 video. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is change that video title and so I'm going to click on settings and then click on edit and then I am going to call this editing example. Uh, I'm going to make sure the spelling is correct and then I'm going to save it and then you can see at the top here that name's changed and when we load back into this it is now editing example. So you can see that this video is waiting for approval which means it wouldn't be currently available to any students or anyone that's got access to it other than the teachers on your module course. Um, so the good workflow would be to do any editing um, pre-releasing it to students but don't worry if you have released it to students and you think oh my god actually I want to remove something or oh I wish it had been a bit tidier at that bit you can go in and edit it while the video is available to students. Um, while you're making the changes it, the video will be temporarily taken down um, and then once it's available again it will be made available again you don't need to reshare it you don't need to change any links that you've shared on other DLE pages or anything like that everything remains the same it's just slightly different when they come to view it um, so once we're there once we're ready to go in you see as we hover down we can see there is the edit option so if we click on that it will take us into the folder or into the editor for that video so this video is just a narrated PowerPoint, so it's a PowerPoint uh, slideshow with me talking over it. Um, so there are a few things that we need to be aware of. Uh, what we're seeing in the centre page is what the students will view, or what the viewers will view. Down the side is any navigational uh, slides, so this is taking the um, any text that it re recognises as title text and by what I mean as recognise is if you've used a Panopto template um, sorry a PowerPoint template and the ghosted out writing in that text box says title uh, when you come to uh, upload it to Panopto, Panopto realises that that's the title and it will show it down the side. If you're using a bespoke template or you're just using text boxes to create kind of where um, kind of paragraphs of text uh, what you will get is an italic line of text that says add a title or something similar um, you can then click on that and you can edit it so for this instance we've got four slides called provisioning course but the information is the same uh, different so we're going to just differentiate them slightly uh, by clicking and giving them a number and then I'm just returning and I'm moving to the next one. If you see italic text in the editor, that isn't going to show to the viewer. If you go in and you edit that, it will become non-italic te text and that will signify that it will be viewable for the student. Um, so this is your editor plane and if I click on the blue title of the video, we can see how that reflects the the viewing side of the video so you'll see that it's laid out in a very similar way that should help you when you come to doing your editing so it's just loading into the player um, and if we pause it there you can see it hasn't applied my changes yet but you've got all your navigational tools down the side um, what we're seeing in the center is what the um, viewer will see um, and I'm given a timeline with my audio and my slides stacked up so you can see this is where I very quickly move through the slides and then I, very, I discuss stuff in some more um, detail whereas here 
the viewer sees every file and every slide as a separate instance and then they can use that as a navigation of the tools if they wish. Um, so Panopto uses a form of editing called non-destructive editing and non-destructive editing is essentially that it's not going to delete any of your content, it's not going to make a hard cut and dispose of that content, it's going to use something called metadata to uh, know what you as the creator want to be shown um, and if you, when we make a cut you'll see that it go dark grey, that's a signifier to you that that is content that you don't want to be shown. And when a viewer comes to that point in the video, Panopto will automatically skip that. So when we come into the editor, um, you can see that we have our scissors selected automatically. So what we tend to see with um, lecture capture, where you've you've set up the recording to record your lecture as a whole, is that uh, staff want to do what's known as a top and tail which is where they tidy up the start and the end of the videos so in terms of a traditional lecture that would be the time that your students are entering and leaving the classroom so that's uh, normally quite rowdy um, and there's no teaching going on so it's worth cutting that out and also if it's a longer session they tend to have a break in the middle and Panopto continues to record during that break so you may wish to cut that out because one there's no teaching going on but it may have been picking up conversations um, that are not uh, useful to the teaching of your course so what we will see if we hover onto the player is that I get a grey line where my cursor is and if I click that that line becomes red and the red signifies um, the red uh, line signifies the point of the video that we're at um, so if we look at the start of the video you can see that there's a slightly darker line and if we scroll to the end of the video you can see there's a slightly darker line there and if I hover over them I get a two-headed arrow um, so basically what that dark line signifies is that's an edge of a video so when you first load into a video any edges of the video so the start and the end by default but if you've used the F9 key during your recording you will see an edge there, um, a start and the end of it, your pause as well, um, are editable parts of the video. So if I hover over, get the two headed arrow, hold down the left mouse key and drag it along, you can see that I've signified this darker grey bit is the bit that I don't want to be shown. And if I do that on the other side as well, I don't want this bit to be shown either. So. Uh, that's how you you edit a pre-existing edge of a video but you may also want to in terms of like we've said with the lecture capture edit out a break but in terms of what you're doing possibly with a narrated PowerPoint is you might have stumbled over some of your words or you might have re wanted to re-record or re-say the text that you were going to say for a slide and so you've stopped halfway through and then you've started again so with that in mind you come to a point like here where you think this bit of text is the bit that I'm going to repeat here and I'm going to repeat it better there so I'm going to hold down the mouse key I get that darker black line and then I drag it to the point that I want to drag it to and then I release the button and then I've made the cut so I can see that that cut has been made but I might want to test it so if I move my red line to this side and I have preview cuts during playback if I press play when it gets to that black line it just automatically skips so if you see that again it gets to that black line it knows that it doesn't want me I kn it knows that I've said that I don't want that to be played and then it's cut it there so it stopped it being shown so that is in, in, to all intents and purposes editing in Panopto it isn't like editing in the sense of like something like Adobe Premiere would do where you can add editing in those type of packages is the real creation of the video that you've made. This is just editing in terms of tidying up content and making it as easy for the viewer to watch as possible.